Sparrow and I'm going to guide you through the vinyasa flow today. As you can see, apart from us, the studio is very empty and we're already missing you, but you don't have to miss your workout. So, uh, if you have a mat, you can of course just grab it, put it anywhere, maybe with a nice view. If you don't have a mat, uh, um, your wooden floors or, or f empty floors, is most of the times better than carpet because otherwise you will slide away. Uh, see what you can do there to make it for yourself as comfortable and as beautiful as possible. Um, in the information attached to this, I will give you a Spotify list uh, with songs that you can put on when we're starting. Uh, so let's start. This is Ernst. He's gonna do the vinyasa actually and I'm gonna say it as I normally do with you guys in class as well. Um, yeah, so let's start. And we you with the vinyasa, always start at the front of the mat. So you can just close your eyes, we're gonna focus on our ujjayi breath to start with, nice breath to calm you down, to Heating up the body very fast. And so just closing the eyes, pushing the feet into the floor, contracting the body, maybe a little bit activating it, but it's still relaxed so your breath can float. And then we're going to start with breathing in through the nose. And Breathe out through the mouth as if you want to fog up a glass or a mirror. Just on your own normal pace of breath. And if this is going well and it's feeling good, see if you can take it a step further, breathing in through the nose, sending it to the mouth, and then halfway closing the mouth, sending it through the nose again, almost making a hum sound. Now, if this is going well, see if you can take it even a step further, breathing in through the nose, sending it through the throat to the mouth, but then keeping the mouth closed and then sending it through the nose again, almost making, as they call it, an ocean sound, or if you've dived before, that sound. Now we're gonna try to hold on to this breath throughout the class. And if it doesn't work, it's perfectly fine. That's why I'm still guiding you through it, so I will help you remember it. Um, so just try to hold on to it. Try to keep, if your eyes are still closed, your face soft. I know I always tend to Contract my face a little bit more when I'm focused on, our breathe, on my breathing, but try to keep the face soft and the breath nice and flowy. And then slowly, once you can open up the eyes, breathing and stretching the arms up to the sky, 
Feel on your feet. Breathing out, hands to heart. Go deep. Breathing in, half lift. Coming up, feel on your knees, spine. Breathe out, high plank. Contracting the core. Now this time we're going to go through it slowly, especially because I'm not there to help you uh, adjust if needed. We're going to try to do it at home. So spreading your fingers as much as possible. First time we're going to put our knees down, maybe even the rest of the times. And then your hip in line with your chest, breathing out, goes down to the floor, sending the elbows to the back, coming completely on the floor. Yes, relaxing on the floor, opening the chest up, squeezing the shoulder blades together, breathing and stretching. You don't have to come so high. See how it is very good. You can already see even lower with your chest still on the floor. But for the first time, we're just going to take it easy. Beautiful. See how Eric's neck is still elongated. So the chin doesn't come up. It's tucked a little bit in so the back of the neck is elongated and maybe your hands are even coming off the floor breathing in lifting your heart breathing out on your knees on your hands and then from your hands and knees going into your down dog breathing out relax we're gonna stay here spreading the fingers pushing strongly out of the arm elongating the neck. Now, if you from here doubtful about the length of your down dog, the distance between your feet and your hand, you can come in your high plank first and then see if your shoulders are above your elbows, above your wrists, and if your uh, feet are hip distance apart. And then without moving your hand and your feet, push back up and down dog. Very nice. You see a long elongated back, beautiful, and the hips are pressing up to the sky as they do here. Now maybe the back of the legs are bent, maybe they are stretched out. Whatever works for you to keep the back long. Breathing out, bending the knees, looking at the hands, walk your feet to the front of the mat. Breathing in, half lift, elongating the spine. Breathe out, head to the floor. Breathe in, stretch all the way up to the sky, elongating. Breathe out, hands to heart. Breathing in, stretching the arms back again. Interlace the fingers, pointing the index finger up to the sky. Shoulders are lower. We're going to breathe in, stretch up. Let's make yourself as tall as possible. Move to the right. Holding it there. Now, Maybe the shoulders want to collapse forward. Try to keep it in one straight line. At all times, you first want to elongate before you move to the right, holding it there. Pushing your feet strongly into the floor. Nice deep breath still. Don't forget your Ujjayi breath. Next in breath, breathing in, coming to the middle, stretching up, breathe out, hands to heart. Breathe in, lift back up again, interlacing the fingers, index finger pointing up to the sky. Breathe out, eat, breathe in, elongate first, and then breathe out, move to the left, holding it here. Really trying to elongate your spine and keep breathing. It's nice, flowy breaths. Breathing and stretching back up to the middle. Breathe out, hands to heart. Breathe in, lift back up again, elongating the arms up to the sky. Breathe out, down to the floor. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, high plank. Breathing in, contracting this time, maybe without putting the knees down. Slowly move down to the floor. Without hitting with the chest of floor, breathe and open to upward dog. 
beautiful. As you can see, nice open chest, squeezing the glutes. And it's not the toes that are in the floor, but the top of your feet. Breathing out, down dog. Going back to your enjoy breath again. Breathing out, bending the knees, looking at the hands. One more step, your feet to the front of the mat. Beautiful. Breathing in, elongating the spine. And breathe out, head to the floor. Breathe in, stretch all the way up to the sky. Breathe out, hands to heart. Breathing in, lifting back up again. Breathing out, bending the elbows, opening the chest up, pushing the chest forward, your heels in the floor. Breathe in, lift up. And breathe out one more time, pushing the elbows out, opening the chest up, holding it here. Squeeze the glutes, nice deep breath. Breathe in, stretch, and breathe out down to the floor. Now we're going to stay here, breathing in, half lift, elongating the body, stretching the arms out, holding it here, breathing out down to the floor again. Breathe in, stretch up one more time, holding it here. Can you go a little bit more into 90 degrees? Beautiful, yes. I know this is a hard place to hold on, but that's what you do. So activate all the muscles in the back. And breathe out down to the floor. Breathe in high plank. Breathe out, move down. Breathe in upward dog. And breathe out downward dog. Just a couple of breaths here. And breathing out, bending the knees, looking at the hands, walk, step or float your feet to the front of the mat. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, head to the floor. Breathe in, stretch all the way up to the sky. Breathe out, hands to heart. Now we're going to keep the hands to heart, making the step a little bigger than your hips, pointing the toes a little bit outward. I'm going to show them to you. So your steps are bigger than your, yes, beautiful. And your hips are a little bit outward. Now, the first couple of times, let's keep the hands to heart. We're going to breathe and elongate. Breathe out, coming or low squat, keeping your knees to the outside, pushing the outside of your feet into the floor. Very nice. Breathing and coming up. And breathing out, going down. On the pace of your own joy breaths, lifting up and going down. And if it feels good and you keep on going, you can add your arms too. So breathing out, they're down. But breathing in, they stretch up and down and up. Beautiful. Now again, pushing the outside of the feet. And this is doing it very well. Pushing the outside of the feet into the floor. Keep on going. Except if it's too much, then stop and just stay and hold. Keep breathing till we meet back. And he's opening up his knees. One last time. Going down and stretching. Breathing out, hands to heart. Putting the legs together. Breathing in, stretching up towards the sky again. Breathing out, down to the floor. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, high plank. Breathe in, contract. And breathe out, move down. Breathe in, open the chest, upward dog. And breathe out, downward dog. 
Holding it here. Couple of breaths. And all times pushing out of your hands. So you're doing it perfectly. Stretching, elongating, pushing the hips up. It's an active pose. And with the next out breath, bending the knees, looking at the hands, walk, step up, float your feet to the front of the mat. Breathe in halfway. Breathe out ahead to the floor. Breathe in, stretch all the way up to the sky. Breathe out hands to heart. Very nice. Breathing in, lifting back up again, elongating. Breathe out, move the butt back, come in your chair pose. Now with the chair pose, check if your knees are not over your toes. So if you can still see your toes, beautiful, pushing the butt back, stretching the arms out. If it's too much for the arms together, open them up. Yes, beautiful. Or bring them to heart. All fine option. As long as the weight of the body is in the back, in your booty. And then breathing in. Elongating more on that side. Breathing out, knees down to the floor. Breathe in halfway. Breathe out, high plank. Breathe in, contract. And breathe out, move down. Breathe in, open the chest. And breathe out, down dog. Now, from here, see if you can move your feet to your hands, coming into a seated position. So from down dog, moving your feet to your hands and coming into a seated position. Beautiful, yes. Now we're gonna work our core and up our upper legs because we're gonna use them a lot in our warrior poses. So see if you can stretch the legs out. They're still on the floor and your hands are next to you on the floor. Very nice. Then we're gonna breathe in, and if the taller you are, the harder this is. So for Eris, this is definitely a challenge. Breathing in, lifting the right leg up. Breathing out, down. Breathe in, left. Breathe out, down. This is too easy, you can move your hand to the front, move the upper body to the front. Keep on doing the same thing, keep on going on the pace, your own breath. Lifting up, breathing in. Breathing out down. Nice and controlled. Squeezing the core. Maybe putting the hands even a little further. Maybe not. Maybe to be able to endure, you're just keeping them closer to your hips. And then bringing both the legs down. Putting the hands in the back. Yes, breathing and pushing your chest up to the sky. One deep breath here. And breathing out, moving the hands back to the middle again. Yes, beautiful. Now this time, you're definitely have a challenge because we're gonna lift them both up. Breathe and lift them up. Try to hold them here. Squeezing the core. Contracting the upper legs, keep on breathing. Nice, long, deep breaths. If it's too much, put one leg down and then lift it up again and then put the other down. Very nice. Or maybe just for one breath, put both of them down and then lift them back up again. This is not, I'm not trying to kill you. So do whatever you can. And breathe out for a Very nice. Putting your hands in the back again. Opening the chest up, pushing the sternum up to the sky. One deep breath here. Beautiful. And then see if you can, just to activate the core a little bit more, come a little down, going into your banana. So you're lifting your legs up. This time we're adding a little bit more core to it. Body. Yes, holding it here. Nice deep ujjayi breath still. And breathe out, relax to the floor. And 
coming back into your banana again. Lifting the legs, stretching the arms up, contracting the core, holding it here. Again, if it's too much, alternation are always there. You can put one leg down, you can put the other down, switching off. You can bring the knees a little bit in or a little higher. All beautiful alternatives. And beautiful breaths and it's very nice relaxing to the floor. One more time. Now you're alone in your room, so if you want to have nice big breaths or sighs or cursing as a yoga teacher is now available, then that's perfectly fine. Let's go for it one more time. Stretching the arms out, stretching the legs out, going for your banana. Squeeze, hold it here. Beautiful breath sounds very nice. And relax back down. Now, if you've been into my classes, you've probably tried this before. We're gonna grab our knees and then roll back and forth all the way from your shoulders to your tail. And then when you feel ready and you have enough speed, maybe you can push yourself up into a stand. Very nice. All right, breathing in, stretching the arms up to the sky, elongate, breathe out, knee down to the floor. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, high plank. Breathe in, contract. And breathe out, knee down. Breathe in, open the chest. And breathe out, down dog. Now we're moving to our flow part. Breathing and stretching your right leg up to the sky. Stretch it out as much as possible. Trying to keep your hips still in line, but we're breathing also all the way to our toes, all the way to our fingertips. Holding it here, just pushing strongly out of your arms, focusing on your breath. And breathing out, bringing your knee to your nose, holding it here. Really trying with your knee to reach your nose. It's a hard place to stay and to breathe, but that's why we do it. Nice deep breaths. Pushing strongly out of your arms, spreading your fingers. Beautiful. And breathe out, put it in between the hands. Breathing and coming up for your high lunge. Stretching the arms out, yes, very nice. See if you can still keep your hips in line. So you're almost trying to put the left hip forward and the right hip back, squeezing the glutes, trying to keep your back leg, just as Ernst is showing, nice and stretched out. We're gonna breathe and elongate the arms up. Breathe out, bring your hands to your heart. Breathe in, open the chest. And breathe out, move a little forward, then the left elbow comes on the right knee for your twist. Beautiful. Still, as you can see, a nice elongated back. Now, if you want, there's room for it. Maybe you can open the arms up. Maybe not. All just options. So, stretching maybe the arms out to the, yes. Beautiful. One last deep breath here. And then breathing in, going back to the middle, stretching. Breathing out down to the floor. Breathe in, high plank. Breathe out, knee down. Breathe in, open the chest. And breathe 
breathe out, down dog. Breathing in, pushing the hips up to the sky. Very nice, holding it here, deepening the breath again. Moving to the other side, breathe in, stretch the left leg all the way up. Elongating, trying to keep your hips square. Yes, beautiful. Breathing all the way to your toes, to your fingers again. Stretching them out, holding it here. holding it down, really trying to bring your knee to your nose, squeezing the core, just like we did when we were down in our, um, in our core practices. One last deep breath here, and breathe out, put the foot in between the hands, breathing, come up for your high lunge. Checking the pose again. See how beautifully the knee is above the ankle. And Ernst could even pick his toes off the floor because the most of the weight is in the heel. Contracting his core, still squeezing the glutes, trying to stretch the back leg. It doesn't have to be stretched, but we're trying, so we're definitely contracting. Breathing and stretching the arms up. Breathing out hands to heart. Breathe in, open the chest, and breathe out, move a little forward, and then the right elbow comes on the left knee for a nice twist, maybe even opening the arms up, maybe not. Nice, relaxed face, at least trying. Beautiful. Breathing and stretching out to the sky again. Elongate, stretch the arms up. Breathe out down to the floor. Breathe in high plank. Breathe out, move down. Breathe in, open the chest. And breathe out down, dog. Breathing and pushing the hips up to the sky. Breathing out, bending the knees, looking at the hands. Walk, step or float your feet. So that. Breathe in half. Breathe out head to the floor. Breathe in, stretch all the way up to the sky. Elongate. Breathe out hands to heart. Breathing in, lifting the arms up again. Breathing out, bending the knees, moving the butt to the back for your chair pose. Holding it here. Opening the chest. Now let's play a little bit here with it. So see if you can keep the weight of the body in the back, breathing in, lifting the heels off the floor, coming on your toes, breathing out, bringing them back down. On the pace of your own breath, lifting the heels up, breathing out, bringing them back down. Try to keep the weight of the body in the back. As you can see, it's not easy. As long as you're trying, beautiful, yes, very nice. One last time, lifting up, breathing out, down with the heels, coming down to the floor. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, high plank. Breathe in, contract, and breathe out, move down. Breathe in, open the chest. And breathe out, down dog. Breathing and lifting the right leg up to the sky. Stretch it out. Breathe out, knee to nose. Stretch it out. Elongating here. And knee to nose. Stretching it out one more time. And knee to nose. Holding it here for one breath. One deep breath. And then putting it in between the hands. Breathing and coming up for your high lunge again. Now moving the right leg a little bit to the side so you open up, make room, yes, beautiful, for the hands to go down on the inside of that leg. And then the back knee can come on the floor. 
We're going to go for a nice stretch. Maybe your left elbow can come to the floor, maybe the right. If it can't, we have blocks here. If you have uh, books at home, you can use them. Anything, maybe even bricks, anything that looks like this can work. Just keep on breathing, trying to elongate it back. So it doesn't have to be, but again, we're trying. Just coming back to your breath. Feeling a nice stretch. And slowly coming back on your hands if you're on the elbows and then coming into your high lunge again with your in breath stretching the back leg up lifting it very nice now we're going to go down one more time breathing in first stretching up breathing out hands on the inside of the foot again then the right arm goes through the right leg so underneath it yes trying to stretch it out elongating so you're stretching the other side. Yes, beautiful. And then see if you can join with the left. Elongating. If this is too much, the back knee can go on the floor. If you want more, then you can go for a bind. So putting the right hand on the back and the left as well, grabbing it. Now, normally we would open up the chest, but now they can stay in line, rounding. Beautiful. This is... Again, hard place to breathe, but just keep on trying. Holding on to your Ujjayi breath. One last deep breath here. And breathe out, both hands come on the floor. Very nice. Breathing and coming up for your high lunge. One last high lunge and one last time. Yes. Stretching up. Breathe in, lift up. Breathe out, move down to the floor. Breathe in, high plank. Breathe out, move down. Breathe in, open the chest. And breathe out, down dog. Very nice. Going to the other side. Breathing and stretching the left leg up to the sky. Stretch it out. And breathe out, knee to nose. Stretching it back out. And knee to nose. Stretching it back out and knee to nose, holding it here for one breath. And breathe out, put it in between the hands. Breathing, come up for your high lunge, elongate. Moving the left leg to the side of the mat so you make space for your shoulders. And breathing out, coming down to the floor. Very nice. Back knee goes on the floor. Maybe the right elbow, maybe the left. If you're still on your hands, try to really push the hip down to the floor because this is what we are trying to elongate. The upper legs, the hips. And then this is a nice place to focus on the breath again. Slowly, slowly, if you're on your elbows, coming back up on your hands. Lifting the left knee off the floor, right knee, sorry. And then breathing and coming up, stretching up, holding it here. One breath, elongating, breathing up, moving down to the floor. Now again, now this time it's the left hand that comes underneath the right, so the left leg is still in front. Yes, we're going to go for airplane. I know that's a good one to forget because it's not an easy pose, but so the left arm comes underneath the left leg, stretching it out, and then maybe the right arm stretches out well to the other side. Maybe you're holding it here. Maybe you're going for your bind. So grabbing one hand in the back, putting it on the lower back, and then grabbing it with the other. 
Again, maybe not. As long as you can keep your breath nice and elongated. If it's too much, don't forget, you can always put your back knee on the floor. Stretch the arms out. Or putting one arm out on the floor and then, yes, beautiful. Now come back out of the pose slowly, breathing and coming up in your high lunge again. For the one last time, breathing and stretching up, breathing out down to the floor. Breathe in high plank and breathe out, move down. Breathe in, open the chest and breathe out, down dog. Pushing the hip up to the sky. Now this was pretty intense, so let's come for a child's pose. Putting the knees down, toes or feet go together, knees come apart. <sighs> we go to the last part of our flow. Just getting your breath back again. And slowly toes come back. Breathing and stretching the right leg up to the sky. Stretch it up. Breathing out, knee to nose. Stretch it back out. And knee to nose. Stretching it back out. And knee to nose. Now this time bringing your right knee to your right elbow. Holding it there. And then see if you can breathe out. Slide the knee down towards the wrist. And breathe in, lift it up to the elbow again. Breathe out, down. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, down. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, down. One last time. Breathe in, lift. Bring it to the middle again, the knee. And then put it down in between your foot, in between the hand. So you're, yes, beautiful. The back foot turns on the floor, and then we're going to breathe and come up for a warrior two. Very nice. Beautiful. So again, here, our and knee is never over the ankles. We're, we're in a perfect line or a little bit to the back, and the knee doesn't collapse in because most of the time it tends to go that way. We want to keep it straight forward. Very important if I'm not there to be corrected. And then again, you can lift the toes up probably because the weight is in the back. Pushing the back foot strongly into the floor, squeezing the glutes, opening the hip up, stretching the arms up. Now the legs are gonna stay exactly the same. We're gonna breathe and bring the upper body to the back, stretching the front side up. Beautiful. Still nice, deep breaths here. And breathe out, come back to the middle. Breathe and contract the core. And see if you can move a little forward, putting your elbow on your knee, stretching the left arm out alongside the ear. Yes, opening the chest up. Beautiful. Still pushing your feet strongly into the floor. You can hold it here or go a step further, opening both arms up. So it's in six o'clock. No, no, you can put it down. So six o'clock and twelve o'clock. Yes. Beautiful, stretching this one up to the sky. Now, if you want, you can move the back arm to the front leg. So the left arm goes on, yes. 
So you do, and maybe with the right hand, you can go underneath and grab it in a bind. If this is going well and it feels good, maybe the back foot can come next to the front one. Maybe you can push your left leg into the floor and lifting your right one up to the sky. Beautiful, Aaron. It's very nice. Trying to stretch the leg out. Trying to elongate the upper body. Still trying to open the chest up. And maybe you can even stretch the right leg out. Wow, amazing. And then from there, slowly, slowly working your way back. So putting gently the right leg back down on the floor again, nice and controlled. And the left foot goes in the back. And then you unbind the arms, come up for your warrior two. All just options. These are options. So if it doesn't feel good, stop at any option that works for you. Don't force anything. Now breathing in, bringing it to the back. One more time, stretching the front side up. Breathe out, move down to the floor. High plank. Very nice. Holding it here. See if you can now lift your right leg back up again. So you're in a three-legged plank and move it to your left elbow. Putting your right knee to the left elbow, holding it here. Keep on breathing. And breathing out, stretching the right leg out. So you clap it up, put it on the floor if you want to, opening the left arm up for your falling star. Very nice. And maybe you can even lift the foot from the floor. Maybe not. Yes, beautiful. Keep on breathing here. Try to hold on. If it's too much, you can always go to your high plank. Breathe out. Come back to the middle with the hand. And then the right leg goes to the back. Stretches up in a three-legged dog. Yes. Beautiful, coming here, down dog. Breathing out, right leg goes down. Catching your breath again. Moving to the other side. Breathing and stretching the left leg up to the sky. Stretch it out. Breathe out, knee to nose. Breathe and stretch it out. Breathe out, knee to nose. Stretching it back out. And knee to nose. Very nice. Holding it here. Bringing the left knee to the left elbow. And then from there, breathing out. Sliding it down to the left wrist. Breathing and lifting it up again. Sliding it down. Breathing out. Breathe and lift up on the pace of your own breath. Going up and down. Keep on moving, contracting the core, still using all of your fingers to push into the floor. One last time, and then bringing the knee back to the middle, putting the foot in between the hands. Yes, nice. And then turning the back foot on the floor, coming up for your warrior two. Squeezing the glutes again. Because it's so important, checking the knee again. If the knee is not over the toe, <laughs> I don't know, stand on the block, so I'm higher. So the knee is not over the toe and it's not collapsing inward. It's pushing straight out. Now then the legs stay the same, breathing and spring it to the back, stretching the front side up. Keep your nice flowy breath. I know it's getting harder. The further we go, maybe calming the breath down a little. Think of the knee, of the outside, the little toes pushing into the floor. And breathe out, come back to the middle. Breathing, contract the core, and then it's through left elbow on the left knee, 
stretching the left arm overhead alongside the ear, opening the chest up. Yes, beautiful. So stretching it to the rib. Yes, beautiful. And then from there, if you want more, so all steps may be opening up to 6 and 12 o'clock with the arms. So the left arm is 6. Yes. Maybe bringing the right hand to the back, to your front leg, and maybe a little, yes, beautiful, a bind in the back, opening the chest up. Maybe the back foot goes to the front. Very nice. Maybe the left leg lifts up, opening the chest up. Beautifully shaking is perfectly normal and fine because this is not easy. But you are breathing beautifully, yes, very nice. Maybe even trying to stretch the left leg out. Maybe not. And then slowly putting your foot back on the floor and trying to put the back leg to the back, opening the chest up, opening the arms up, coming up. Yes, in your warrior two again. Breathing in, bringing it to the back. One last time. Stretch, yes. And breathing out down to the floor. Breathing high plank, holding it here. See if you can bring your left knee now to your right elbow. Holding it here, nice deep breaths. And then stretching the leg out, putting it on the floor, opening the right arm up to the sky, pushing the hip up to the sky. Maybe the left leg comes off the floor, maybe not. That's really a contraction of the core. And the more your elbows underneath your shoulder, the better. Breathe out, come back to the middle. Putting the right hand down and then your three-legged dog, stretching the left leg up to the sky. Breathe out, put it in between, or put it next to the ribs. Sorry. Coming in your down dog. And breathing out, bending the knees, looking at the hand. Walk, step, or float your feet to the front of the mat. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, head to the floor. Breathe in, stretch all the way up to the sky. Elongate. Breathe out, hands to heart. Right, now from here, we're going to move to our balance poses. So let's just close the eyes just for one moment. Going to the breath again. See if you can push your feet into the floor. Now slowly see if you can move a little forward. See how that feels for your toes. Coming to the middle. Moving to the back. See how that feels for your feet. Moving to the middle. Coming to the right side. Feeling how the right side of your foot, of your right foot is pressing into the floor. And then moving to the left. You feel exactly the same on the other side. Just feeling out your feet, coming back to the middle. We're going to make little circles with our upper body to feel the changing, the quick changing of the toes to the sides, to the heel. Beautiful circles. Beautiful. And then circling the other way around. Feeling exactly what that does to your feet as well. So your heels are pushing your toes and they're changing up quickly. Now we're going to come back to the middle. Trying to hold on to that feeling without moving. So see if you can really Squeeze almost the toes in the, in the floor, trying to grab them almost. And then the outside of the feet, you're pushing into the floor. Then you're pushing your heels into the floor. So all the parts, except for the middle round one, 
ground part on the inside are pushing strongly into the floor. Try to keep that activated feeling. It's not with force because we want to hold on to it in our balance poses. Now, maybe you also can feel how that affects your calves, contracting them, contracting your upper legs, your glutes. Now, lifting the belly up, lifting the chest up, opening up the shoulders, relaxing the neck the hips, opening the eyebrows. We're going to keep on pushing that left foot into the floor, lifting the right one up. Bringing the knee in the same line with your hip. Yes, beautiful. Now, maybe that's already, this is your base. This is where you're going to be. If you want more, maybe with the right and the left hand, grabbing your right knee, pulling it closer to you, opening the hip up. Just holding it here. Nice deep breaths. Keep pushing the left foot into the floor. Now, if you want more, maybe you can stretch the leg out with your fingers, grabbing your big toe. Very nice. And then stretching the leg out with one hand. The right hand is, yes, the left can open to the side, be on your hip, whatever feels good. Feeling a nice stretch in the back. Keep on breathing. And slowly breathing out, bringing the knee back to the middle again. And see if you can lift it up. Now this time we're gonna open it up to the side. So you're opening your hip up to the side. Beautiful. Try to keep the knee lifted, opening the hip, stretching the left leg. All that, that, that pushing into the foot that we talked about, you're still trying to do it. Finding a still point in front of you where you're looking. If this is going well, maybe you can again grab your toe and stretch the leg out. Trying to elongate the upper body. Beautiful, Ernst. Holding it here. If it's too much, bend the knee. Just open the hip up. Perfect option. It's all about the balance. Yes, very nice. And then bringing the right leg to the middle. Putting it down on the floor. Going to the other side. So first, no, let's just shake shake the legs maybe the arms if it feels good yes beautiful now pushing both feet into the floor again now the right leg is for most people the strongest so keep pushing it into the floor this time lifting the left knee up in line with the hip beautiful maybe this is it for you if you're holding it here it's very nice maybe Grabbing your knees, pulling it even closer. Feeling a nice contraction in your right glute. Keep on breathing. Maybe again, stretching the leg out. Grabbing your toe. Yes, trying to elongate the body, trying to stretch the right leg. Beautiful. And slowly bringing it back in. Grabbing the knee again. Opening it up to the side. So it's with the left hand, the left knee, maybe the right hand is on your hip. Maybe it's open to the side for a little bit more balance. And maybe again, grabbing your toe with your left hand. Stretching the leg out, opening it up. Maybe not. 
one side can be very different than the other and that's perfectly fine. You can always try. Maybe it's just not working and you just grab your knee, opening the hip up. Thank you for that perfect example. I'm just very nice. One last deep breath in. And breathe out, bring the, bring the knee to the middle, putting it back on the floor. Breathing in, stretching up to the sky, elongate. And breathe out, move down to the floor. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, high plank. Breathe and contract. And as slow as you can, moving down to the floor, sending your elbows back. And then coming on your belly. Stretching the arms out, stretching the legs out, elongating as much as possible. Now from here, before we go into our bow pose, because that's what we're going for, we're going to try to activate everything. So see if you can bend your knees. Yes. And then it's a micro movement, so you probably won't even see it here, but you're really trying to push your heels up towards the sky, contracting the whole back body. Beautiful. And then the arms can go to the back. So if you're trying to grab for the ankles, but you're not doing it. You're just squeezing the shoulders, contracting all this part of the body. The whole back is contracting, pushing everything up. Beautiful. This is the feeling we want in the bow pose as well. Breathe out, come down on the floor. <sighs> Putting a teeth on the floor. Going for the actual pose. So see if with your hands you can grab your ankles. And then breathing in, lifting up, lift up, squeeze, holding here. Nice deep breaths. Again, an elongation in the neck so the chin doesn't go up to the sky. Yes, beautiful. One last breath here. And breathe out, relax to the floor. Moving the hips from side to side. And slowly pushing yourself up into a seated position. Going for our boat pose. So see if you can bring the knees up. Yes. You can bend them at first, we're going to show the steps. And see if you can get your ankles in line with your knees, both of them. So they're bent, and then the ankles are in line with the knees. So you, yes, yes, beautiful. And then maybe the arms stretch out next to the legs. Maybe you put them together above. Maybe you stretch the legs out. Beautiful. Good stance. Maybe you stretch the arms even up. Choose your option. As you can see, Ernst is not hanging in his lower back. He's contracting the core. So any version that works for you is fine. Maybe that's with your knees bent. Maybe that's even with your toes or your heels on the floor with bended knees. Perfectly fine. Hold up. One last deep breath. And breathe out, come back down. Let's go for a nice stretch. Stretching the legs out, opening them up. Beautiful. We're going to breathe in, elongate the upper body. And breathe out, moving with your hands to your, down your legs, see what you can grab. Now you want to keep on elongating this. So if that means that you're with your hands on your shin or on your upper leg with an elongated back, we rather have that than with a really rounded back all the way to your toes. I know it's very tempting to want to reach as far as you can, but we want to stretch this part as well. And if you're just rounding, going forward, it's mostly this that you're stretching up. At all times, breathing in, elongating, and breathing out, maybe going a little further. Breathing in, elongating. 
breathing out of the knee, going a little further until you find a spot, a sweet spot, where you can definitely hold on to, but where you do feel a nice stretch. And slowly, slowly come back up to the mid. <coughs> Giving also a good example of how to cough. <laughs> Now we're going to add these two together. So see if you can maybe grab your big toes, maybe your ankles. And we're going to go for both poses with what we did here. Both poses. So lifting the legs up. Yes. Grabbing your toes, stretching it up, holding it here. Again, beautiful example of not hanging in your back row. So this part is elongated. Very nice. Maybe trying to stretch up. Maybe if it's too much, if you grab your ankles, also perfectly fine. Beautiful breaths and breathe out, go down. Almost at our peak pose. Now, here we're using normally blocks at the studio. Again, if you don't have them at home, books will do perfectly anything that's in this shape and hard enough will work. Um, would you want to turn iron so we can see what's happening? Yes, beautiful. We're going to put the blocks really close to you. If you don't have anything, you can also do it just on your hands. Perfectly fine option. Bringing the knees in. Yes, so I would just turn in the knee. Yes. And then pushing your hands into the block. Now, if you can show it in the camera, it's all of your hands pushing it in block or grabbing it like this. If you have it at home, if it's a book, then it's easy, flat, and if you can push it. Now, pushing into the blocks, we're gonna breathe and lift the butt, just the butt. The feet can stay on the floor. Holding it here. Trying to breathe, squeeze the core. Still breathing the beautiful Ujjayi breaths. And breathe out and knee down. Breathing and stretching up maybe. Twisting to one side and the other, just to loosen the body up. Oh, nice, perfect. Changing legs, beautiful. And then we're going to do the same thing, but then lifting the butt up and one leg. So breathe in, lift up, stretch up. Yes. And lift one leg as well. So, yes. Doesn't matter which one, whatever works for you. Holding it. Try to hold a bit too much, then just for one second putting the butt down and then lifting it back up again or putting the, that foot down and just the butt. And breathe out, come back down. Very nice. Again, maybe twisting, changing your legs, legs up again. Anything that feels good. Go for it one more time. So see if you can lift your butt up now and maybe your right leg and the left. So again, all just option. Lift up. Holding it here. Very nice. Nice deep breath. In. If it gets too much, one foot cannot go on the floor. Both feet can go on the floor. The butt can go on the floor. If it's too little, you can stretch both legs out, or maybe one. Wow, amazing example. You're almost there. Hold on and breathe out, relax down. Oh, <sighs> <Whew>. very nice. <laughs> it would high five you, but Corona. Okay, now time to go to our peak pose. So see if you can 
Uh, again, if you don't have blocks, perfectly fine. You can do it on your hands. Come in your squat again. So again, facing the camera so we can show. And then the blocks go on the outside. And then your hands go through your legs. And then putting them on the blocks. Yes. Now, this is how it's looking from the front side. So if you would want to put, turn hands so we can show the... Uh, yes. So the hands go through again. Now, this is a beautiful example of how bent it... Can you stay in the pose still? So the elbows above the wrist in one line and it's turning into a table. So it's you're putting your leg so much over that arm that you can really use it as a table to put your weight on. Now from here, maybe you can lift one leg off the floor, maybe the other, and the closer your feet are together, the easier it is to pull it all in. So try to keep your feet as close to each other as possible, very nice. Beautiful example of the pose. Really pushing out of the hands, just like you practiced all the way, lifting the feet up. Maybe even trying to stretch the legs out. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> just where you are, that's the most important part. And maybe you're not still not here and just trying to work your way into the pose perfectly fine. Just a little play for today. Time to relax. So you can put the blocks away, coming down on your mat. We're gonna take a couple of minutes in the end. This is the nice thing of being at home and this being a video. You can just stay down after we're done here and breathe a little bit more, relax a little bit more. So opening the hands up, relaxing, everything down, we're going to scan the body together from toe to head. And first going back to your normal breath, forgetting about the ujjayi. Just nice, normal breaths. Following your breath through your nose, through your chest and up and down. Scan the body together as you begin. Relax your toes. Relaxing your feet. Really relax your ankles. And your calves. Relaxing your knees. And off your legs. body through the opening here. Every time you breathe out, you feel everything below the hip getting heavier towards the floor. And relaxing your core. Relaxing your shoulders and your whole spine. Relaxing your front two, two and one. Your eyes 
Hope to see you in the studio very soon. And in the meanwhile, keep strong and positive. Namaste. And have a nice day. Thank you, Eric.